Okay, so welcome everybody to tonight's meeting on Monday the 20th of May 2024. Um, item one on the agenda this evening is to elect a committee chairman. Does anyone have any nominations? Councillor okay. Wenham. Oh, 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 sorry. Councillor Dell. I was just going to say, as you've been chair before, I suggest that you stay where you are. So I propose Councillor okay. Charles. Oh, thank you very much. Um, any other nominations? Oh, <laughs> um, and then a share of hands, please. Yeah, that's unanimous. Thank you very much. Um, item two to elect a committee vice chairman. Does anyone have any nominations, please? Andy, what do you do? Thank you. Sorry, if, if you'll accept, because I haven't mentioned to I've proposed councillor. Wesley, because he has some of the background, some of the items. Yes, you know, more. we've got the pretty things, and he's got them. If that makes sense, that does make sense. Is there a second to that nomination, Councillor Tyver? Um, I also have a nomination. Um, I would like to nominate Councillor Wenham. Um, for similar reasons to why you've just said that I make a good chair for this committee, and um, Councillor Wenham knows our open spaces very well um, and contributes a lot to keeping them nice. So, and Councillor Bates, is that a second one? And um, so we'll, do we take the second one first? Yes. Okay. So can I have a show of hands, please, for Councillor Wenham as first chair? One, two, three, four, five. And for Councillor Westley, please. One, two, three. So, yeah. <laughs> That's carried for for what it's worth. Uh, Councillor Wenham, for what I'm joining here, you're very welcome to. For what it's worth, Councillor Westbury, I think you would have also made a very good vice chairman. And also, must yes, it's not just. No, yeah, oh, no, no, absolutely not. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, uh, next, we have welcome and housekeeping. Uh, I already done a small welcome. Um, when opening the meeting, housekeeping, there's no fire alarms planned for this evening. If there is, fire doors here, there, there. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're all acquainted with them and there's no members of the public present. Um, next, we have apologies for absence. Uh, we've got Councillor Jay Taylor, who is unwell, um, and Councillor Alan Reynolds. I haven't had an apology. You haven't had an apology no. from Alan? No. Oh, just Jay Taylor then. Um, Councillor S. Taylor. Um, I will apologise now if my phone goes off and it me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, I, um, five is declarations of interest. Does anyone have any personal or Jimmy that we must declare? None. Uh, item six is the first public participation. We have no members of the public present. Um, item seven is minutes of the Environment Committee on the 22nd of April 2024. Um, has everyone read them? Do we have any amendments? If not, can I have a proposal and second that for their acceptance, please? Thank you very much. I've got this on the platform of the road. How many people are actually caught as well? Is it numbers crossed out? Um, on, oh. Is that on the minutes? No, that's I'm sorry. I bet that's, on the, that's on the actual um, the additional notes. Sorry. From, Oh, oh, on the on the public participation notes yeah. that was attached. Right, okay. Uh, is that what it's page? Oh, no, I do have to go and get Second public participation. Mm -hmm. I can't see anything about Blackpool. <coughs> Whereabouts in the minutes? Um, does it, if you can name the minute item. Unless you mean one, two, three, one, two, three. Was it in the in the meeting papers? In the oh, meeting right. papers. Yeah. Yeah. So take yeah. them as accurate on their proposal, please. Anyone? Don't all rush at once. <laughs> Councillor Dale, uh Councillor <laughs> Westby and the show of hands. Yeah, uh, but Joe, I haven't got hands up. I think it's because they weren't. Okay, two abs. Yeah. Two abstentions, then, yeah. Thank you. Um, next is item eight, which is the purchase of land from St. Edmund's Close. Sharon, are you able to provide an update? 
Yeah. Um, yes, I'm in touch with the solicitors. And although I've given you some information on the overage, I just want to make sure that you are happy with the fact that there's going to be one slight amendment, um, which is item five, um, just explaining. Um, it's a bit complicated, isn't it? Um, overage can be. Um, and I haven't had too much dealing with it. Um, but I think the solicitor um, would like to make sure that um, the wider definition of deductions, the less overage payable, um, accurate records must be kept of costs and full details produced. Um, but it's to do with um, making sure that it's fair to you uh, and that it's all set out properly. So there is there is the opportunity. Um, let me just find a particular piece. The overage payable will be 30% of the difference between the base value being the market value of the land excluded in the uplifted value due to the planning permission and the enhanced value being the value of the land with the benefit of the planning permission. So she wanted to make sure you're clear on how that's going to be calculated. And if you're happy with that, she will then go back to them. There wasn't really anything that they sent to us because when I first got this breakdown, I wondered, oh, well, where is the original over it? What is she going by? Um, but she, she, I, I don't know what she's gone by because I did ask her that and she didn't actually send me anything. She just said, I've just laid out um, how it should be set out. So I think from what she's saying, she's actually making the first move on this to make sure that the conditions are right for us, if you know what I mean. When we, uh, when, if ever you were to get planning permission on the land, that the, the, the deal is fair rather than just having to pay a, a, a set, for instance, say if it's got planning permission, you don't want to be paying overage on the enhanced value. So that's what, she, if you're happy with section five, she, that's what she's going to go back with. And then we'll see how it goes, if that makes sense. Yes. Does anyone have any comments? I think that was, I think Sharon explained it quite well, and I think that's mm -hmm. out quite well. I think we need to leave it to Sharon until she's got the name. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's right. But as I say, it's still ongoing. And I I just wanted to put that under your nose so that you can see, um, you know, a, a exactly uh, what what that will entail. And I was a bit clearer when she set that out quite nicely. So we don't need a resolution tonight just to... Get, um, just to well, if you could just me. sort of like, yeah, I, I would like a resolution just to sort of say at this point, just to say that you're happy with the, um, the, plan, um, the plan set out on the solicitor. And then she's got something to go by. Would that be okay? So if we sort of say a proposal that um, the the report on the overage provisions, shall we say, yeah, uh, it is acceptable at this point. Yeah, because it, it's still negotiable. Yeah. 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 We're just trying to move the process forward. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. And a second, please. Councillor Fraser and the share points, please. Yeah, uh, majority of an abstention. Yeah. Um, <laughs> next, we have open uh, item nine, which is the open spaces consultation. Thank you very much for collecting all of this information, Sharon. I appreciate there was a lot to work through, and I think we've done a very good job. So, hopefully, it's yeah, it's clear to everybody. Yeah. I see what you're saying about black form no, no, yeah. Rita. I changed that. It was a typo, so it should be oh, 38. Yeah. 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 Okay. So um, it's what we do with that information because um, we, we've now got it. I've had a number of parties who have asked me to send them the consultation, if that's all right with you. I think Brecklin want to see it. The open space, which is a later item, the lady who's dealing with that would like to see it. Um, I could also forward it to Megan because she can share it with various parties if that's okay. Yeah, I, I think that I think that's good. That everyone needs to be on the same page. Um, do you want some direction as well as to obviously some of them, for example, have got like a clear indication. Yeah. So, for instance, Lomond Road. I'll come to you in one yeah. second. What's the time now? Lemon Road, there was a clear majority, unquestionable, yeah. for option two. Yeah. So would you now be looking for committee to support yes. that as the preferred option yeah. and one seat obviously yeah, come in and, 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 and give you that the scope great. to progress? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. We could do a separate resolution for that, couldn't we, and deal with that first. Councillor Ross Taylor. 
on um, the package goes back to the main road that is so good. But um, I was going to say the Blackthorn Road, as it's such a big space, and there were numerous options and uh, quite a lot of comments back in that one, maybe a workshop between members to crash through that if we can get together rather than in a formal committee meeting where yeah. the solutions are sought and stuff, maybe we can get together with the big the options and then kind of put the options and the options. I think yeah. that's a really sensible yeah. suggestion. Does yeah, anyone else have good. any comments? Sounds good to me. Brilliant. Okay, so Councillor Taylor, can we take that as a proposal from yourself? Um, to share as appropriate yeah. uh, by the clerk to seek a members' workshop before making any decisions on Blackburn Road um, and to progress option two for Lowland Road as the preferred option. Yeah. And can I have a second for that proposal, please? Councillor Wenham, may I share plans, please? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's okay, that's fine. Um, next, we have item 10, which is picnic benches, gamers, and the recreation ground consideration and resolution. Um, if anyone hasn't seen them in the book packages, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> That's what I yeah, I was in the wrong committee then. What, when I so there's three proposed yeah. locations for gamers, and there's one for the recreation ground if anyone wants to take a look. Um, sorry, and can we just pass those down to Councillor Dalton? Um, that's okay. Um, just formal ones. Yeah. Four. Three. I think. Three. I think. Three. I think it's the red crosses. Yeah. Yeah. And just the one on extra on the recreation ground. But we've only got one picnic bench left. But if we do happen to get some more, then I'll have direction already and we can just um, locate them when they come in. Can I ask? I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy, obviously, to do it exactly as you've just said. Um, but have we had like a imagery? You know, we've got one picnic bench. Do you know how many litter bins and dog post bins we have in store? Because I know that's the next mm. item. Um, well, no, I, 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 no, I don't know. How okay, many no, that's store. fine. That's yeah, fine. yeah. Um, does anyone have any objections or are we happy to accept the proposed locations as presented? Yeah. yeah. Council, is that a proposal? Yeah, I'm proposed. Uh, seconded by Councillor Crates and show of hands, please. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's unanimous. It's happening yeah. a little too late. Um, and then next is item 11, which is litter bins and dog waste bins. Um, there was a considerable amount of feedback, obviously, with Blackthorn Road about additional waste bins and dog poo bins. But I think if we're going to look at that, we should look at it as a whole in the workshop, including that item. Yeah. Um, I will say there is some very tatty looking bins around town. Um, very much so. The one outside Council is disgusting. disgusting. We're, we've been asking for that for about two years again. Yes, not, your fault. Yeah, your, okay. not your yeah. fault, Sharon. No, um, but okay, yeah. It's um it's yeah, some of them are quite appalling. Yeah. That's Russ Taylor. And I also please ask, um, if possible, if we could look at a um bins that are not Cypress Road, where the alleyway comes through where people go into the green area and walk their dogs. So when they come back out onto Cypress Road that there's somewhere and either maybe either end of that so on Utree Road on the other end, so either end of that alleyway, if if we happen to be stopped, or if we can look because I've had representation from a resident that yes. there's a young child that way and it's lit click. Okay. And um, they find an awful lot of few bags. But yeah. Okay. I think in the first instance, we'd have to contact Breckling, wouldn't we, and see if they'll empty, I mean, empty at that location. I, I'll ask them, but I think the answer will probably be no. But if it's a no, that means that we'll have to pay for it to be emptied. Mm -hmm. But we pay Breckland. But just so you know, just to buy a bin, uh, install it and, and get it empty, you probably be around about £365 a year extra. So that'll have to come up, just so you're aware. I'd like to show them. Uh, I'll, I'll do something. Councillor Dale, then Councillor West. Uh, my question actually about the competition. Oh, um, sorry. Uh, there's a new dog walker, well, it's been a new dog walker. Mm -hmm. I noticed it's been there, I like him. Very much so. I, I was just going to say, these are one of the things, if we have to pay for it, that we let 
people know we're, we're actually running with old things and paying for them. So, you know, to help keep yeah. town tidy. It's, yeah. Because people think they're all emptied by breath. Yeah. And I think we can actually say, yes, some are, but the council provides so many old things that are cost on, yeah. you know, to help keep the town tidy or clean or whatever. Yeah, I was just saying, going to say, one place is the walkway down the side of Sainsbury's to U Tree Road. That um, a couple of weeks ago, one woman went down and she got a half bag. Yeah. Of, but, you know, dog poo bags. You know, a, she just got a little carrier bag and she just loaded them up. Could I suggest that if members have any areas specifically they're aware of that they think would benefit, could they email myself and or Sharon and let us know? Yeah. And what I'm going to suggest is that myself, Sharon, and probably John yeah. um, re review, uh, maybe have a site visit and review what condition the bins are in, whether or not we think there's a laugh, yeah. and then come back to yeah. a future meeting. I was specifically talking about litter bins there. Litter and dog poo bins, yeah. both bins. So if, if anyone has any recommendations for location, we can look at that as part yeah. of a review and actually yeah. start progressing this i must admit that yeah time? that's fine and when we have the workshop are you going to do all that then we, we could do yeah if we can get something because um, when i was new i did try to look at the dog bin review and then Anne and i had a conversation the other day didn't we and i realized that actually i could have made my life easier if i'd known that on the asset register we've got dog bins and litter bins haven't we and possibly with locations yeah. So I can actually collate the list easily now because I've got the Breckland list and I'll have that. So hopefully I'll have a completed list, which is something I should have done months ago. But I thought I might have to trek around the town literally in person. But I, I don't think I have to do that now. So that's good. So is everyone happy for, for us to progress in that manner? Any feedback at the next meeting? Thank you. Um, I've got uh, item 12. Uh, we've got Jubilee Woodland. Uh, Land north of Lovers Road for consideration and resolution. Yeah. yeah, now that is the statement. Now that's been passed by the senior planning officer, Rebecca Collins. Uh, she's happy with it. She just, we did a couple of amendments and I've passed that by you, haven't I? Yeah. So this is the finished version that I would like you to resolve to accept. Then I can officially send it. I think I've got to send it to Hill but perhaps via planning, but Rebecca didn't make that clear, but I'll find a place where it needs to go. That's now got to go under the noses of obviously Hill um, and planning uh, so that we can get the var variation on section 106 um, files and approved, if you like, with the new titles. So um, that's sort of like a case, really, a statement of case so that we can um, progress um, further with it and, and hopefully get ownership of land or apply to get ownership so this is one more step in that direction does anyone have any comments on the document as presented or can i please have a proposal is that a proposal uh councillor tyra seconded by councillor dalton and a show of hands please yeah um that's majority, majority yeah thank you um, next, we have item 13, which is Breckland's play and pitch and outdoor sports strategy and open space assessment consideration and resolution. Um, is this a second part or almost the same one? A nomination of council? Yeah, that was just because there were two two parts here. Okay. So um, the, the uh, Rachel Gibbs, Senior Planning Pet Policy Officer, has just asked if we can provide any information on uh, what open spaces and playing pictures we have, which I can quite easily do. Yeah. So if that's all right with you, I could forward to her. Um, then number two, do we want to nominate somebody within the town council to take part in the project? So that's their request. It's something that's new to me. Councillor Taylor? I was actually going to suggest that that would be Sharon, as I've got Rockerstone, and Sharon, I wanted to put down. Um, the way all of the information on our open spaces and yeah. the projects that we've got to come in that you would be a constant yeah. in, in that process. Yeah, that's fine. If, if that's okay, we've got the members. So mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and no objections to part one either? No. No, no. yeah. No, right. but we can just reiterate to Bretton and do the work with the plan that it has for it is the efficient team perspective. Yeah. We always have been. Okay. And I know it says sports and everything else. 
Okay. Been there before. We are we are deficient yeah. in, in planning terms for yeah. professional staff. Yeah. We are deficient in open space. Okay. Give your feedback to our staff report. Yeah. Um, are you happy yeah. for it to be you, Sharon? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, no, I'll get my teeth stuck into that. That's fine. Okay, perfect. And also, um, sorry, if you can then feed that plan through either this committee or the plan with the highways. Yeah. So we can feed into it, give you support. Yeah. Also, back on yeah, perhaps I ought to be told going. where to feed it back to. But also, I? it should come through the agency as well. Well, I think it's a um, yeah. open space assessment. Yeah. Yeah. Open space assessment. Yeah. yeah. But, but but keep the ADP involved if, when we have a meeting. Yeah. 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 And keep the committee yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Um, okay. So that was a proposal by Councillor S. Taylor. Councillor Dell, were you seconding that proposal? And a show of hands, please. Yeah, unanimous. <laughs> um, and then next we have item 14, which is the Scouse lease for consideration and resolution. Um, now that one is just, uh, sorry, I, I don't think you've got an email on that one, but um, this is something that came from meetings with me and Megan. Um, something that came up I just want to, you to clarify uh, because it was mooted quite a couple of years ago in fact possibly less um, whereby a member and a the previous clerk had attended a meeting with the scouts and had mooted that that land could be up for sale um, to, from the town council so I just want it to be clarified that it is or isn't the case that you would be interested in selling the scouts land so that we can put that to bed. Yes or no? That's just a simple Should item. Should we just have a simple hands up for yes, hands up for no? Is, is that sufficient, Sharon? Would, yeah, would please, that suffice? Yeah, yeah. Hands up for yes. Hands up for no. Yeah. Council of Bell looks confused. No, I'm abstaining because oh, I'm okay. a tenant of the town council oh, okay. and so are they. So yeah. okay. it's, it's better for me okay. to abstain. Can we win up Council of Dale's abstention? Yes. It? She's Please. done it for, she's done for the transparency. There are no limits anywhere that this council considered this before, yet this option was put forward. Yeah. 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 There were so. Yeah. 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 I just thought that, yeah, it was a bit of a surprise. But anyway, this is why I put this item on so that I can go forward to negotiate the lease as normal. And uh, the, uh, just to let you know, the solicitor that is in, in with our solicitor at the moment. So hopefully it won't be too much longer that I get um, some feedback from her. Thank you. Um, next on the agenda, we have item 15, which is the second public participation. We're still absent of public. Um, so moving on to item 16, which is items for the next agenda. I don't necessarily have any, probably just feedback from the workshops if we can have the workshops within the month. Yeah. Um, does anyone else have any? No. Well, if you do have any, just send them in. Uh, happy to accommodate. I think Phil Sharon is. Um, and that is the meeting closed. Thank you very much, everybody.